Good morning everyone, this is Ngozi Chukwe Kim. Welcome to my class. So this is graphic design and um, 3D animation. And for some of you that would like to learn, we're here to teach, to teach you, to introduce you to graphic design itself, and then teach you how to generate content with AI, and also how to convert text to human voice, teach you how to animate AI art, and also where to download non-copyright music. All this and more are what you're gonna learn. Okay, welcome back. So some of the tools we're going to use are stated on this page. So I would like you to pick up your pen and write out all the links you're seeing here because we're going to talk about them and use it. Yeah, so the first thing on our table is generating content with AI. And uh, so welcome back. Um, so the first thing on our, on our table today, the first thing on our decks today is generating content with AI. And you know, I asked us to write down all the tools we're going to be using, especially the links that I provided. So the, f the first link we're going to look at, but before I say this, I would like us to quickly um, be informed that all these websites, they actually have an app. So if you're using an iPhone or using an Android phone, or even if you're using your laptop, you can actually um, download these apps instead of using the website. But for this lesson, for these classes, we're going to use the website. So like I said, you go to your um, browser. So I'm opening my browser now. And you type in your the, the, the link you're looking for, which is um, HTTPS, and you put your column, slash, slash. Then we're looking at charts. Um, it's even out there. Sometimes when you start typing it, you immediately see what you're looking for. So here is it here. Click on it. So this is the um, the website. So I'm going to teach you how to use this um, particular website to generate content, AI content. So it's opening. I sincerely hope that every one of you, is, you know, you have to practice this. You can do it alongside um, this. You can pause this video at any point in time, and you know, try to replicate what I'm doing. So you can see that the website is open. So you click here. Now this app. Sorry, let me call it the website. This website gives you any kind of, all kind of information that you can imagine, any type of information, anything you want this app to. I keep calling it an app because it actually has an app, but this is the website. So anything you want this um, app or this website to give you, any question you ask is going to answer. You can even ask it to tell you a story. Um, the most important thing is putting out your highlights there, what you want to see in the story or on, and all that. So with this, you can, you can um, when you create an animation, you can use this, the information you have here, you can um, actually, you know, put it into your animated video. So, for example, I'm going to add this, um, this um, chat GPT to um, and describe, just, just watch and see what I'm going to type. So let me say, a young African boy, boy, swimming, in a river in his village you can even tell this you can even continue describing just to put it the way you want the way because when you type when you send this information it's going to give you a whole lot of things it could come in front of a story some people use this in you know writing books because the the system is programmed in such a way that whatever you want to ask it you can get your answers so you can describe the hair color you can describe if you have any peculiar feature you want to see in you know um or read sorry this is actually not for images we're coming to that of image so this is just for content for those of you maybe you find it difficult to write or to tell a story and you want to tell a story about something or paint a picture um so you type so let me just leave it at this a young african boy swimming in a river in his village so I send out this information. Now, um, it says that sounds like a delightful scene. The young African boy must be enjoying his time swimming in the river. So, this is just what it said. Then, if I want to ask it to tell me a story about this boy, I can still edit it. You know, you can edit it and and you know put out more information. What you wanted to say, say, tell a story. You can say tell. 
a story tell a story of a okay so let's put it this way and see what it's going to say so so if you read down you you just get tired of reading because he's writing a whole lot of story about this young um, African boy. So the story goes, once upon a time in a small African village, there lived a young boy named Kofi. Kofi was known for it. So this is um, the AI system providing you stories. So if you have um, an, an animated video or animated picture that you can use the information you have here now. So these are to actually generate content for your um, AI um, 3D animation or whatever. So thank you very much. I hope you grab this. Okay, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to teach us how to create AI art. And the tool we're using is the, the link over. You can see the link there that I asked you to write. So this one is called the Blockade um, Lab. Okay, so you click on your browser. I don't know what the web browser you're using, but I'm using Chrome for it, but you can use any browser at all. Then you type in the link, which is HTTPS um colon then slash slash so even when i'm typing it you can see it it appeared there because i have used it before but for you who if you're using it for the first time you will need to type in the whole link before you can see it so you click on it and so it's opening like i told you this um app you, you can actually get the app of this um, from play store instead of going to their website so Okay, it has opened. So you click on this Conjure Your World. The essence of this, like I said, is to create um, a kind of realistic human, you know, view of whatever kind of um, human you want to see or even animal or thing or anything at all you want to see um, that it's, you want to use or whatever. It, it can create it for you. So I don't know if, it's, if this is going to actually bring up, bring up um, what I'm going to type. Because um, I think at this stage, it's already demanding I, that I subscribe. Um, and I've not subscribed to it. But then, I've been using the free version of it to, to um, create animation. So you can also, for the first time, I think you'll, you'll be able to use, sorry for that, you'll be able to use the app to create without subscription. So let me just type, for example, whatever kind of imagination or image or story you want to paint or something you type it in you can go in details to type whatever you want and it's going to bring it up for you so let's say um i'm typing right now um a young african boy swimming in a river so once you finish typing you come to this place and change it to realistic from the digital pen and click on create so it's starting to create something for me. Starting to create something for me. So let's see the image it's going to bring up. So it's giving me, you can see now it's giving me um, a view and if I'm not satisfied with this view because I'm not seeing a boy here, or I'm not seeing exactly everything I want to see here, so I can still come and, um, you know, elaborate on, on what I typed in or explain further or give more details of what I want to see. So I can say an African boy boy sit, swimming in a river in his village I click on create so let's see what image is going to bring up so sometimes you can just um type in whatever you want to see okay there was the other um part, video we did we did a video of a, a story about a boy, an African boy. And you can use that, the information from that story. You can use it to, to think about the, the kind of characters you want to see in that story. And you come here and search for the kind of character you want. Then you go back there and um, 
incorporate it into the, the, the statements, you know, the stories that you told. So this, the picture he brought for me, a young African, that if I'm not satisfied with what it generated, I can still change, in the, you know, give, change it, maybe include the age of the boy, or the kind of color I want, the hair of the boy, or how I want him, I can say, sitting beside the river, however I want to put it. Most important thing is that it's going to come up with a village setting, as you can see. It's going to come up with a, um, come up with a village setting like this, and then give me the kind of you know, features that I typed in. If you're a little bit confused about the um, features that it's showing and you're not satisfied, like I said, you will modify the story. So this is it. You can see the African boy that is swimming in the river. So this video, you can use it to create whatever impression you want. So now, the next thing to do now is to download it. You click here for download. So it's downloading already. It's already downloaded. Um, you can actually open it here you know, to view what you downloaded. So now, this is what it gave us. And you can crop this. Probably you don't really like um, the way it's looking. You can crop it on your own um, photo editor. You can crop it and modify it or whatever. So I want to see one more thing. I want to try to write and type something else and see what it will bring up. Probably I will say a Yoruba. Old, an old, an old Yoruba woman sitting, or let's say an old Yoruba man sitting on a local chair in his village. I'm just using this, um, this kind, this type of, um, stories just to bring it home for us to see, you know, those people that actually have our own kind of looks. So now I click on generate. Remember to change it from this. If you, from the first time, you need to change it from digital because here we'll be showing you digital painting. You need to change it to this realistic to get a better view of what the kind of setting that you want. So it's, change, it's trying to look up um, the, kind, the kind of image you want to see. So let's see what it will bring up. Okay, see, so this is the old Yoruba man sitting on a local chair, you know, an old Yoruba man sitting on a local chair. So this is what it came up with. So if you're not satisfied with this, you can actually describe the kind of cap you want to see on his head, the, the color of his hair, the color of his shirt. You can type well, just as many features as possible that you want to see the person, you know, putting on. You type it in and you're going to see exactly what you want. So I think I've succeeded in showing you how to use um, this um, app to generate realistic um, images based on the features that you entered. So for this, we're also going to download. We're going to download now. This is another man. Okay, so you click on download. So you click on download. So we've downloaded this file. So thank you. If you want to open it, you can also open up. I want to show us the one I created before, not it's not at this moment, but the ones I've created before in the time past. So now we see exactly okay. I created this image. This image. I created this image from there. And I also created this image from there. So I will show you what you can do with the image. So this is the end of it for now for this particular video. Thank you. Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to learn how to generate realistic voices. That is to convert text to human voices. You know, 
So we are going to use the resemble AI you're seeing there. So that's what we're going to type into our code. I hope, hope. So we are going to go to the web browser and type in your link. So this is, remember the, I asked you to write down this link so that it will be easy for you to, to go through it and type. So I'm looking, I'm typing in the link and I'm sure it will come up because I've used it before, like I said, that's AI. Okay. So we're searching and then it asks you, like for those of you that will be using it for the first time, I'm sure you'll be asked to sign up. So you do just that, but I've already used it before. I've signed up before. So I just go straight and log in, then go to generate content. Cause that's what we're trying to do. We're going, trying to, you know, generate um, human like voices. Okay. So waiting for you to load. So here now we have different sounds, you know, different voices, different sounds, depending on the one you choose or the kind of intonation or accent that you want. So you can pick any of them and um, can pick any of them. And then you're going to put, sorry. So when you take it, then you're going to type in whatever you want the voice to say. For example, if you're creating videos and, or animations and you want to use, you know, human-like voices for it and you don't want to speak yourself, so you come here and create, you know, such, you, you type in your text and generate the kind of voice that you want for that text. Okay, the first thing we learned was um, how to create, you know, content where we were able to, to get a, um, a story just by imputing a few um, highlights for it. So we can go actually to that same app. You can check on that app now. You can go through it and generate a story so, so that when you, you impute it in this um, resemble, it will read out <clears throat> that story for you, just for an example. Just using it as an example. To be able to explain it very well so i'm looking up that um website okay so here is it remember this chat open ai chat gptm open ai so we i just want to use it again and you know copy i just only want to copy the story that we've generated before and impute it into the resemble so we can hear the, the 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 voice, you know, reading the the story for us. So here is it. Let me go to the one we've generated before. Instead of typing again, I know we still remember this story of Kofi that we generated here. You must not do this. You can actually just type whatever you want your your animation to say. But I want to use this one and just run it because. For some people, like also create stories, um, use it, who create uh, um, animated stories like this or videos. Sometimes we use this chat GPT to generate the kind of story we want, and we create the voice. So let's go back to the resemble. I've copied it. So let's go back to resemble, and um, impute it there. I don't know if you're understanding me. I would like you to, I would like you to um, just pause the video at every, any point in time you want and so that you'll be able to practice what you're doing alongside my own. So I've put, it, I've, um, I've put in this text here and want to hear it read. So I'm going to quickly <clears throat> create it. So you click on create. Okay, so it's creating the story for me. Then it's I'm, I'm clicking once here upon a time in a small African village, there lived a young boy named Kofi. 
Covey was known for his adventurous spirit and love for the river that flowed gently so through the heart of the village. The Every day yeah. after finishing his chores, Covey story, would rush I mean, to the riverbank really with a wide with grin voice. on his face. His you friends would join him, voice, the eager to see what new tricks he had up his sleeve. The river was their playground, you know? a source of joy and freedom. <clears throat> so, you can always change the, the, the tone or the accent to the one you want. There are lots of them. But if you're satisfied with that voice, you can leave it. So, you can use it if you want it. So you check here and you click on any voice you want it to have. So Once upon a time in a small African village, there lived a young boy named Kofi. Kofi was known for his adventurous spirit and love for the river that flowed gently through the heart of the village. Every day after finishing his chores, Kofi would so rush to the riverbank with a I'm, wide I'm grin on his face. On his friends would join him, eager to see what new we'll tricks he had up his sleeve. The river was their nice. playground, a source of joy and freedom. So, I've picked on another voice now. And I'm Once upon a time in a small African village, there lived a young boy named Kofi. So when you're done, Kofi you're was known for this. his adventurous spirit and love for the so river that flowed gently through the heart of the village. Every day this. after finishing his chores, Kofi would rush to the riverbank with a wide grin on his face. His friends would join him, eager to see what I'm new tricks he had up his sleeve. Um, the river was their playground, so a source of joy and freedom. Video. So the next thing we're going to do is to download this clip. So you can see I'm downloading it. So you download the, the, the clip. Once upon a time in so a small African that. village, there lived a young boy named Kofi. Kofi was known for his adventurous spirit and love for the river that flowed gently through the heart of the village. Every day after... So I think a source of joy that. and freedom. I think we've done just that. So, um, we've done that. So once you've generated, you click on download. You you click on download um full audio, and it does that for you. So it's downloading, and it's ready. So you can use the, or you can listen to it to be sure that this is once what upon a time in a small African village. So you there lived see. a young boy named Kofi. Kofi okay, was so known for his adventurous so spirit and love for the river that flowed it. gently this through the heart of the fire, village. Of course. Every day after finishing so his chores, to Kofi would to rush to the riverbank with a wide grin on his face. His friends would. Good morning and welcome. In today's video, I want to show you how to animate, animate your photos and turn them into videos. And you can see the link we're going to use to do that. that. Okay, so I want to, like I said, want to turn them uh, photos. Any picture you have or any photo you have, you want to, want to turn it into videos. You watch us do that. But for those of, the, those of you that are creating animations, then the pictures we created before using a blockade lab. You can use any of those pictures to, you know, turn any of those pictures to video. So you watch and see how we're going to do that. So you click on your web browser. By the way, when you click on it, it's not going to come immediately to this site. So let me go and do it again. Because I was already on this site before I started the recording. That's why you've seen it there. So the first thing to do is, to, of course, to type in your link to the site you want to go to, right, which is this and then d hyphen id.com then you launch it so it brings you here and it takes you now to the page so i always like to put it on desktop site so we click the first three buttons by your right top right click it and change it to desktop site so that it will expand like this so then you click on this start you know try now it's free so when you come here you click on this again where it's still telling you to type that it's free so okay with this now let me ensure that it's on this desktop site okay 
So why I'm trying to put it on there is the extra stars is so that the page, this because the screen of this phone is small, so it will be able to ac accommodate everything I want to see. So you click on create free video. You can see create video by the left side, top right, left. So you click on that and then down here you're going to see this um, plus and add in a dark um, um, circle like that. So you click it. It will take you to your own gallery. So which particular image do you want to convert to um, a video? You check through. So I want to use um, one of the um, animated um, pictures that I have. So I'm going to select this boy now. This picture. I created this um, image from Blockade Lab. So click on Done. So you allow it to load. Now on this part of the screen, you see where they wrote script. And next to it, there's an audio sign, sign there. So the whole thing is asking you to either type in what you want this your image to be saying, or you use the speaker by the left. After that script, there's a, a next, there's an icon there that represents audio. So it's either you click that icon and it will take you to where you have to go and select an audio. We'll get to that. So by then, let's focus on this script. By the way, this script, um, writing the text, type, typing the text that you want your, um, your image to speak, it, it has limited limitations. So it cannot exceed um, 20 words. So that's why, um, except you're going to create multiple, you know, the videos multiple times, so that you just continue to have, a, a, you know, you create a continuation of the video for each of the periods you're going to use it. But, but for this purpose of teaching, I'm going to type in, quickly type in something here so that I will illustrate it. By the way, you can still go and copy um, whatever you've, you know, content you've created from your chat um, GPT, maybe a storyline or something. But remember that I told you that this does not exceed, cannot exceed 20 words. So let me just say this, okay? My name is, my name is Adam, and this is how we roll. Okay, this is just a sample. Now, if you keep typing, it gets to a point that even if you type the whole page, this image cannot say more than 20 words if you type. So that's why I said, except you, you keep on saving, like you, you, um, use the 20 words, save the video, do another, create another video from in, and make a continuation of what you were typing, 20 words per video. But just for the um, purpose of teaching you this, I'm just showing you this. Then you come down here. You can see where they um, put language. If you want to, the boy to talk like a Nigerian, to speak the Nigerian English, because of, of course it's dark in complexion, depending on the storyline and what you want to say, can allow you to speak um, um American accent or whatever, but if you want him to speak in English, so you click Nigerian English because I want to hear that our accent. Then you come here. This voice is represent um, a boy, a male, and a female. If you click on the first one, you're talking about a, you mean your character have to speak like a lady, but if you pick the second one, he has to speak like a male. So that's the um, the options. These are the options you need to take into consideration. Then you. Test it. Let me zoom it so that you see where we're clicking. This is the speaker here. So you click on the speaker to hear. My name is Adam, and this is how we roll. So we can. We are sure now that we've heard the the tone, and again we we've also um, observed that he's speaking like the boy, which is what we want. So we now click up here, where you can see where it's written generate video. We click there, and it will still ask you again. Do you want to generate this video? We click on yes. I mean generate. So once you're done doing this, the video is generated. You can see it generating up here. So you let it, you know, roll or load. So I'm letting it load. So then it's even, you know, popping up something that will successfully generated your video. So you click on the, the image, the video to see what you've done. My name is Adam and this is how we roll. So can you imagine? Your, your image, your picture is already speaking. So what next? There's a, a sign there that said that says um, download or share. Whichever one you want to pick. But me, I like to download my videos first because of course I want to always edit the video before 
I use it for anything. So you click on download. So this is exactly how to. So let me go for the second option, which is using your own audio to, you know, to speak to for the image. So we're done with this. And then we have to close it here and click on create video again. Cl click on um, create video. Let's assume I still want to use this one. I can, instead of choosing this plus and add, I just click on this picture. And that's what is already showing there. Sorry, that's why it's asking me to delete because that's the picture that is in. So yes, I want to reuse this picture. So like I said, let me zoom in. Instead of clicking on script, because we already have a recorded video, I mean audio that we want um, this boy to use. So we're going to click on that audio beside that audio icon. You can see it's asking to upload your own voice which you might have created somewhere so you go to your file i'm not going to be able to put that but if you want to you click on your audio so it brings up for you a couple um multiple um audios you can choose any of this let me just use this one here but it's just for sample purposes so it's loading um the uploading the audio for me so i think it's done now so you test run Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my class. Okay, so, so I am. That's okay. So I'm going to let generate the video now, so we can hear the boy making use of this voice now and saying exactly what you heard now. So I've generated the audio. I believe it's you know it's still rolling. So once it's finished loading, same thing you did for the other one. You click on the video and listen to what you've done. So let's watch. So now, this, this is no longer an image or a, a picture or a photo. It's now a video. So, good morning, everyone. Welcome to my class. So, so I can hear am Ngozi Chukwikim, so, and I'm here so that is how to take to you on and if this you want journey. To, like, so for now, I don't want to save this design. video, so I just want to delete Using it. Using AI. But I've told us that the next step to take if you want to, if you need the video, is to click on download or share it. So thank you very much. And that is how to convert your photos to videos um if remember if you have any issue or question if you run into any problem while creating any of the things you can always check I mean the app called CapCut. So check it on your Play Store and download it. Thank you. Okay, so this is the app here. You can see the app called CapCut. You see it on my phone. So if you're using an Android phone, go to your Play Store and type in CapCut. And then download the app. If you're using an iPhone, you go to your Play Store and also download it. So you click on your CapCut. And sorry, it's not supposed to take me directly to this place. Let me start afresh because I've opened it before. So as the first time, let me show you how it looks like when you open it. So you click on the app. So first thing you will see as a first user is it's going to ask you to create an account. Because I already have an account, that's why it's open straight to the page. So you create an account and then you log in. So then you click on this new project. So we're going to select a video that we'd like to put a caption to, you know. So any video you want to impute text, it's okay. So let's see. Let me see this particular video now. So what I do is to click on add. So it comes here to prepare your project. So you're going to take two steps. The first step is to click on text. And then the second text um, step is to click on auto caption. So as soon as you've done that, then you choose how you want the, te um, the text to be appearing, any style you want to use. So you can click on any of this, but remember there are some that is written free on top, meaning that other ones that are showing are not free. You may click it and it will ask you to subscribe. So I'm checking, you can see all the ones written free. So you can choose any one among them. So let me just go for this and then click start. 
So he's trying to generate the word, the words that she's speaking. She's um, the the system is trying to turn it into text. So before we've done um, turning the text into human voice, now we're done doing turning human voice into text, but simultaneously, meaning that the the two will be happening at the same time. So I think it's done this way. So let's try it and see what we have. Okay, you can see the words. You can actually work on the speed because as, as you can see, it's um, appearing too fast. So you can work on the speed. So at the end of the day, if you're satisfied with your video, what you have done, you can, you can click on edit and do whatever else you need to do. But if not, you can go back and um, go ahead with your video. So if you're satisfied with whatever you're seeing, then you're done. So you click on, you see here, once, before you can, before you click on this um, upload, you can see this the sign, um, arrow pointing up, trying to ask you to save the video. You can check the quality of video you have, you want. So I would advise you to go for 720 instead of leaving it at 1,000. But if you like, you can leave it at that. It's higher in quality, but it occupies more space. So you can go for 720 if you like. If you don't like it, download it as um, at that 1080. So you now save. So you're exporting your video. So the video is going to enter your gallery. So from there you can try, you know, share it to whichever pl platform you want. So this is how we add captions to video. So whenever you play this video now, every single word that this um, um, woman has said would appear in text. You don't need to type anything. Thank you. What you want to do with your InShots probably is a video or a picture that you want to edit. I don't know what you want to edit or what you want to modify or play around with. So, but then I'm choosing a video. So you click on the video. And if you have previous um, projects that you are working on, then you can modify it if you want. But then, for someone who is using it for the first time, of course, you need to click new. So then you choose a video, a video you want to play around with. I prefer to click this place, video. So it just shows me only videos from my gallery. So you look for the video you would want to edit. Let me pick this video and then you click the mark there showing good. So this is the video I want to edit. So then if you allow it to play, okay, let me assume you want to work on the volume of this video. Probably it's, it's too low for your liking. So you come to all these icons that are showing and look for volume. You look for volume, you can see volume there. You click on it. So you drag it to however high or low you want. So I've taken it to the highest um, level. So you click the good there. So that's how to increase the audio. I am angry. You can see you are hearing it, it's louder now. And again, let's assume you want to add a background music. Just a soft, for those of you that would have done movies with an animated video, like you've done a um, cartoon or you've created a kind of video that you want that, that you want the speaker to be talking, but at the same time, a background sound to be available in the video. So you click on this sign of music, the road music there, and it's also showing a music sign. Then you ask yourself, would you want to use your own voice? Do you want to speak with your voice, sing with your voice? Do you want to add your voice to this video? If yes, you click on this speaker here, that's the road recording. But if no, you want a background music, just music from the from um, the phone, sorry, from the app itself, you click here. So it's going to show you different options of, of music. So you can select whichever one you want. They are titled. There is pop music, soft music, whichever one you can click anyone. Then it opens up to multiple music and you start. You see, for each one you click, you will hear the sound. So I think this is good. 
so you allow it to load so once it's done loading to, to put up and um, you can see the icon saying use so you click on it so if you are playing this video now you're hearing the sound but you notice that the sound it's a bit louder than the video itself right sorry it's louder than the video itself so so i'm trying to see if i can change the volume so then you come here and still click on your volume and then you drag drag sorry sorry the first one it's um, a sign that the music is going to play throughout the music, the video. So if you want the music to play throughout the video, that is where you see in the first line. If you want it to stop halfway into the video, you drag it backward. If there's a timer there. So if you have uploaded a two minutes video and you just want this audio to play just for one minute, you keep dragging it backward until it's showing you exactly one minute. But I want the video to be in the background for the whole video. So let me just work on the volume so that it will not overshadow the voice of the person doing the video. Then if you want this video, this audio to fade in or fade out, as it's singing, it's also so I'm sounding as if it's fading away. You have those adjustments down here. You can make that adjustment. Just walk around it the way you want. Still be listening to be sure you're okay with the volume. So then, I think it's too low now. I'm okay with it at 9%. So you click on satisfaction. That's that good. Then you try what you've done. I am angry. We are hearing him clearly. And the background music is soft. And it's not interfering. So we've done that. So when you're satisfied, you click on this button here by the right, which is showing Mac good. So you click it. If you want to add text to this, you know, to this, remember I've taught you how to um, put captions. That means if you want people to not only hear him, but also read what he's saying, I've taught you the app you go to, to be able to bring it in here. And that's CapCut, the app I told you about. But for here, if you want, um, you don't want to add any caption, but you just want um, to leave a kind of highlight a highlighted message like for example you just want to say listen to this so you click on your text and you type the bold letters or whatever you want it to appear you type in what you want people to see listen to this this is what i want people to see and i'm saying that the color i use this white the color of my text is white and this shirt is white so it's not letting people see it clearly i can choose to you know change it to black or to red or to yellow, to blue. You can even use this picture gradient to choose where you want. But I think red is okay. Red, red, red is okay. So I click okay. So now if you want to position it here, it's fine. If you want to take it up, it's here. However you want it to be, it's still okay. If you want the, the text to appear like this, you know, choose anyhow you want the text to drop, you know. You see so there are a lot of them or you want it to come like this there are many of them that you can choose to, you want the text to drop you know you see so there are a lot of them or you want it to come like this there are many of them that you can choose to use then when you are okay with um, setting the text then you click good again now if you want this text to flow throughout the video you look down you will see where that listen to this is not only at the top where you put it you can still see it down so you go to that place where you are seeing it touch the tail end of that clip and drag it till it gets to the last place or wherever you want the text to stop showing then you confirm that what you're doing it's in order so then so you can see that I listen to this is permanent there. So that is it. That's how to add text. Now, if you want to, probably this is a, an advert video that you want to put up or you're creating, creating for someone and the person wants you to put his or her logo on it. So you click on sticker. 
so sticker and if you want to put any any of this sticker it's fine but if you have a particular um picture or logo whatever that you some that you want to add to this picture you click on the second icon showing on top the second one you click on it and then click on import okay so when you click on that you pick any picture whatever it is you want to add you want to see on this video you click on it let me just click on this picture so when you do that you click okay but then again maybe you want to you might want to sorry you might want to i'm coming excuse me you might want to work on it the size you put it down here you know or wherever you want to place it this is not actually a logo i'm just showing you how to put a picture or a logo but it's not actually a logo so you can trim your logo and bring it in so still the same thing i said if you want this clip to show this logo to show to, till the end of the video you can still see where it's showing me what i'm doing it's showing me down at the down part so you click on that the tail of it and drag it again down to wherever you want it to stop and then you stop there so so now this logo is going to remain in this video till the end So I think we've succeeded in giving it all the, um, we've done the editing of the video, we've also done the added music to it, and we've added text to it, so I think we're good to go, okay, so we may want to crop this video, probably you don't like the way it's presenting, and you just want to cut it, cut part of it off, so you crop it this way. Then crop it down again to however you want it to be, and then that is it. So we still playing the video. I am angry, physically and spiritually. I cropped it too much. That's why the head is like that. But when you want to crop your own, you can do better. If I want to reverse it, if you've made mistake and you want to correct what you did, you can click on this back button here by your left. You can see an arrow that is bent to the left. You click on it. And it reverses what you've done. Okay? So at the end of everything, we've successfully edited this video, put up volume. Uh, you can even use add your own voice. Like I said, you want to add your own voice. I've shown you where to do that. So at the end of everything, there is an the app is showing there. The, the name of this app is showing there. And probably you want to do this video for someone. And you don't want the person to you want the person to bring more customers to you so if this person sees the name of this app he or she might not want to bring another customer to you so if you want um to know this app yourself and and you really don't want the name of the app to show it's called actually called a watermark if you don't want the sh watermark to show there's a small arrow sorry let me go back there is this this the name of the app is in short and you can see it by the left by the right down so there's a small X showing on top of it, which is indicating that you can remove it or close. So you click on it. Then you have two options. The first option is to actually subscribe to this app and pay them some money. Then you have the watermark permanently removed in all your videos. That whenever you want to do a video, you don't you won't see it. But the second option is for you to watch a, an advert. So when you watch an advert, they will remove the watermark for free. So let's click on free watermark. So it's removing the watermark. Okay, so it's done now. You could see we're actually watching the advert, like I told you. You wait for it to show the X sign at the top, then you close it. You don't have to keep watching. So it's hanging a little bit. So you've closed it. Then you click on save. Now you have options there. And to choose whichever size of of video you, you want to, you know, if, to shoot, choose um, whichever resolution. If you choose them, um, this one thousand and eighty, like I said before, it's going to have a lot of carry a lot of MB. So I think I want to go with seven twenty. Then you click on save. So we are now downloading the video. 
So this video, as soon as it, it finished um, this conversion, you can see it's writing conversion of video. So as soon as it's done, that means the video is ready for you to, to share or to do whatever you want to do with it. I must succeed in this village. I must make my grandma proud and no power can stop me. How long shall we continue this fight, destroying our properties? Mama, get well soon. You're the only one I have. Okay, so good morning and welcome back. So, on this video, I'm going to show you how to design your flyers, your posters, or even logo. You can be able to create logo for your business or create it for others for money and all that. So, we're using, um, we're doing graphic designing actually. And the, the app we're going to use is called Canva. So, before we go ahead, I'd like you to download, go to your Play Store and download Canva. C A N. VA. Okay, so welcome back. So here is your the app Canva. You can see it here. So you click on it. Now this app is one of the most important tools for a graphic designer, even a 3D um, animator. It's very important to know how to use this app because you know in graphic designing and in animation, we don't just come use only one app to get the best results. You can use multiple apps on your on your project and you will have outstanding results. So this is one of the apps that is very, very good um, for especially for, for graphic designs and like stuff designing stuff like logo and um, posters or banners and both the soft copy and um, even, yeah, the soft copy before you can actually even send it to someone for printing. So as you can see, the one that is showing on the screen is just one of the, the, the even the smallest ones you can do. You can see that I, I um, there's something called templates. Let me start with that. So because I've used this before, that's why it brought me straight to this place. But normally when you um, open your Canva, um, let me show you how it will appear on your screen. So this is, let me show it still loading. So this is the page you're going to meet once you open your Canva for the first time. So for those of us that have used Canva before, you can see where it's written project. So once I click it now, it's going to take me to a whole lot of things I've done with Canva. Even something that is as far, as, as far back as, as um, 2017 is still on this Canva app for me. So I might as well ask you to sign up for it. You sign up so that you can be able to, you know, enjoy the app and be able to use the app. So you click on this plus sign you're seeing here. It's actually standing for as um it stands for um um you know starting a project, adding something. Okay, let me not start with that one. Let's start with. Okay, so depending on what you want to do, you can see. It's showing you a whole lot of things that you suggesting what what um, you may like to do. So you might want to do a flyer. You can see where they wrote flyer. You want to do a poster. You can see where they wrote poster. And for those of us that that do um videos, you can see where they wrote mobile video. You can click on that one, and you can also see the sign of logo. So I don't know what you want to do or what you want to achieve, but whichever one you want to use. You're good to go. Even um, resume is here. For those of you that want to update your CV and you don't know the template to use is here as well. So that's why I say this app is very, very important. Even for presentation, for those that do a lot of um, presentation, PowerPoint and all that, they are all here. So let's start with the flyer. So when you click on it, let's see where it takes us to. Okay, it's loading. Most of these apps, you need to, to be patient when using them. So now you can see um, different templates. So these templates, they are already made, you know, designs. They are already made. You don't need to start designing anything. Only thing you need to do is to, to play around with the designs, the particular design that you choose, and input your character, image, or text, or whatever you want to put there. So now, um, because I want it to specifically give me this one is all about digital marketing, and I'm not really interested in that. For example, maybe what I want to um, do is for birthday, a birthday flyer, I can come to this search bar and write and type birthday. So once you click on it, it will give you different designs of birthday flyers, okay? 
So you just go through it and know the one that you want to choose that will be good enough for you, you know. Take your time to go through it. And then this one's the Roots Pro here. You can look and see some of them that the Roots Pro on it. Um, you might like to use it, but, you know, it's not free. So you just go ahead and choose the ones that do not have those specific um, um, disadvantage or limitations. So you look for the one that is beautiful and maybe to your to your own taste or to your customer's taste how you want it to look. You can even take it and show your customer and ask. You can even screenshot it and ask your customer to pick any one. But remember, you don't have to show, when you're sending a screenshot, you will not want your customer to know where you're getting it from. So you need to crop up the name of the app. So let's just say um, I decide to go for this. I don't even know the one to choose now. I don't know what to choose, but let's say I decide to go for this. Um, let me see the one to choose. I'm still a bit confused. Let's say... Let's say I decide to go for, ah, I'm confused. Which one will I go? They are too beautiful, so I don't even know to, okay, let me just choose this one. Let me choose the first one. So let's say I decide to go with this one. So you can see a whole lot of other ones are still popping up. So now it's the, the picture of the lady that was there before. You know, you can choose to delete the pictures and put different pictures of you or the celebrant. If you are the celebrant, you put the pictures of you. And then, okay, let's start. I click on, first of all, if you want to change the background color, you're not satisfied with this pink color, you click here, you can see where the, the root color, color there. You click on it and change it to any color that you want. Any color that you want is okay to change colors. I'm not, I, I think I like the color it came with, but for the sake of this training, I'm going to just, change the colors so that you know how to change colors. So this is how to change the color to any particular color that I wish to, to, you know, to use. But because I like the first color that I made there, I want to take it back to that color and then, sorry. So that's it. Okay. So then, um, now I want to walk, I want to change these pictures because this is not the celebrant picture. Unless I assume I want to use my daughter's picture for it. So I click on here. Now it brings you back to this place. Look down, you're going to see, read whatever they wrote, the, all the things they wrote there. So you can see me scrolling. So you come to where they put gallery. I click on gallery. So it brings you here. You have images and videos. So you click on image, of course, it's a picture you want to put there. Um, the, a, a flyer is actually a picture, except the person is asking for a video flyer. Sorry, excuse me. So, you, so now I'm trying to look for the picture I want to use. I'm trying to look for the picture I want to use for it. So I'm scrolling and I've seen my, my daughter's birthday, birthday picture. So I pick on, I pick that particular picture and it appears here so first of all you you may need to crop you know to remove some parts of it so that it will be small enough to sorry i think there's a mistake so you click on crop so it's going to help you reduce the pictures the parts that are not necessary and then you click on done so you fit it into this frame okay so it's there now you can just make a duplicate of this by clicking this. You see, right above it, you can see a, a waste basket and, and an, a plus there. So that plus beside it is asking for you to duplicate this or copy it. So you have two of it. So there are two of it now lying there. And you can see it. So you move. Before I move it there, I want to delete this one. I click on delete. So when I want to delete, they're asking me, what do I want to remove? Is it the image or the screen? So you click on delete image. Then you fit in this picture. It will fit it into this place. And that is okay. Then you duplicate again. So there are two again. Then you click on this one and delete again. Image, okay? Then I move this. Sorry. I think there's a mistake. So I move this into that frame again so i fit it in there so now i have my daughter's picture there 
So if you want to change the text, whatever is written on that particular flyer that you chose, you can change it. And for these weddings, if you have some other things you want to change there, maybe you're not satisfied or you want to add something to it, you click on the, the text itself. Sorry. You click on the text and then there's, you look down, you will see the options there. So you click on edit. So when you click edit, you'll be able to change. I don't really want to change anything there, so I'm fine with it. But if you want to change and you start typing, everything here will change to whatever you want it to be. The right top you want. Okay? So, so that's about it. And then if you think of maybe any other adjustment, filter, uh, like if you want it to look like this, this color, or like this, not even necessarily color, the, the design you want, whichever one you pick, you know, it's if you're looking closely, you see that the, the, the frame is changing, the image is changing to whatever you're picking. So that is about the filter. And just look around whatever you think you want to do. If I want the picture inside here to flip, and to be on the other side, I'll click on this flip. It will ask me, is it horizontal? You see, the baby is on the other side now. And that's how to flip the picture. So all these things are the things you can do with the pictures. So, okay. Then, that's about it. If you want to add any other more image on this picture now, you can still do that. You can still do that. You just go there and pick up what you want to add. I don't really need this to add this picture to this, um, but I don't have any, okay, let me see if I can find any interesting picture. I think I have a picture of a cake. I might want to add there. Okay. I'm looking for the cake that I want to put there. So that's the cake there. You click on add to the page. So once you click it, the cake appears here. So you put it up because I have the cake already. Now let's assume that I don't have this cake here. So what I'm going to do is I will click here on this plus sign below. I click on it and it will take me here. But instead of remaining on the gallery, like I told you, you see the options below, the place I'm moving now. So you click on the one they wrote element. So when you click on element, you know you see a whole lot of you know, items that you can pick up. But I want it to specifically give me only what is that what has to do with birthday. I can just come here and type birthday. So that this the focus of this um search of this element will just be on everything about birthday, like this happy birthday I seen, cakes or gifts or whatever it will bring up. Then I'll start to check what I want to add or see in this picture. Ah, uh, I'm seeing a whole lot of beautiful things. But you see, some of them are not for free. But I can still do with make do with ones that are free. For, and that are free. If you want to actually get the ones that are not free, it's still okay. All you need to do is to subscribe to, to the app, and then you have access to those ones. But for now, I just want to pick um, maybe these balloons, or, or maybe I should just pick this, and then you have it. You come and hang it wherever you want it to be. You can even expand it, you know. Yeah, but I would like it to turn upside down. So when I'm done with it, so I'm just going to click on it again and try to flip. I'm trying to, I want to flip, okay? So you can see it's turning upside down now. I would like it to be like this. So that is it. So whatever else you want to do with this picture, your flyer is ready and you can, you know, pass this on to your customer because the customer, maybe you would have, told you how he or she wants the design to be. So this is actually the birthday flyer. And we've done with this. Okay. So if you want to save this flyer now, you click on this. There are two arrows. If you look up, you're going to see on the le on the right side up there, you're going to see two arrows. One is facing up and one is facing down. So you, the one facing up is the one you're going to click to be able to save this. So it will bring you to this page. Then you click on download and you see another download, you click on it. So once you click on it, you see the design will, to prepare your design for you. And this will automatically be in your gallery. So that's how to design a card or a flyer rather, any one you want to call it. There are cards too. You can still 
go for cards. So let's assume we're done with this now. And we go back home. And we want to use this okay Canva again to create probably a logo or um a logo or what again a poster or anything. So you click on the Canva. Probably because you've done this work before, it's going to bring you back to this page. Just click your back button. So to return to this place. So when you get back to this place, you can now click on this plus sign again to start up another project. Now this, remember what we said, if you want to create um, a logo or whatever you want to do, you still come back. So what we want to do now is a poster. So we click on the poster and it brings you to this place. So when it brings you here, is there's no difference between the poster and um, the birthday. You take the same method that we use now to be able to create your poster. Just type in um, the kind of poster you want. Is it a wedding card? Sorry, poster. Or is it um, for burial? Or for whatever. Maybe for your own advert or whatever you want to do with it. You type in there. Let's say wedding. So once you click on wedding posters, it's going to give you different kinds of posters. So can you see? The same thing is applicable. What we did before is what you're still going to do. Click on the one you want. And then anytime you want an item like cake or anything at all, flowers, you click on elements, it will appear there. Just pause the video and try to do it yourself. Then you will be able to understand. So I'm not going to go far into this one. Then I want to show you how to also make video adverts with this. So let's say it's, video, it's a video advert you want to create. You come here. Okay, let's, we need to go back first. For a video advert, you come here and you type advertisement. Let's say, let's say, um, well, click it first. So it will give you several advertisements, you know. But you know, because from the very beginning, we're not talking about videos. So, I mean, we're talking about posters. So it may not really give us what we want. So what we're going to do is to go back first and change this from poster to mobile videos. So when you click on mobile videos, it will take you back to this place and you will see your, um, all the things you want. Okay, from here now, you're going to click, click here and type the advertisement. We've typed it before. Can you see the advert, adverts that is bringing up? Different kinds of adverts. All these things have already been prepared for you. All you're going to do is just to put your own product or to change the text or whatever you want it to be. So you just scroll and look for the particular one that you're interested in using to make your advert. Let's say your advert is all about, um, um, let's say this. Okay, it's a skincare advert. So you pick on the one you want to use and um, start working on it. Okay, so if you don't want this, um, this lemon sign, you will click you click on it and it goes off. I don't really want to remove it. That's why I left it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Just hold on. Sorry. Sorry for that. So let's do that again. So you click on the plus sign and then you click on mobile video. Sorry for the delay. So you click on your plus sign, okay? And it's on designs, right? And then you pick on the one that you want, okay? You picked on the one that you want and you start working on it. Sorry, there is a little bit. I'm just wondering why, but it's okay. Okay, I see. This one is not for free. Sorry, that's why it's looks as if it's difficult for me to use it. So I'm going back again. Sorry for that. So you have to pick the ones that are free because if you pick the ones that are not free, you might not really be able to use it. So let's look for the ones that we can use without being asked to pay. So let's say we want to do, let me still type the skincare. Let me type skincare 
products okay it brings me varieties so then I click on this and then okay sorry okay it's it's actually hanging because I'm supposed to see the the icons below that will enable me you know even edit this text okay so sorry it has come up so if I'm if I if I have a company name my company name I can always type it here probably I change it to lovely lovely okay I want to change this too I can also change the name maybe to vitamin B you know so you have the, you have the privilege of you know utilizing this to your own advantage so at the end of the day you're done with you if you're done with editing all this to your taste and putting imputing your names and all then you click on the save button and then you download it so that is how to use the Canva okay so welcome once again remember I'm Ungozi Chukwe Kim and I'm here to teach you how to create advert videos so you have a business or someone has a business and um, asks you to design a video for his or her advert um, so you're going to click uh, it's the other ones we did we did um, flyer and then we did poster so we now want to create a video advert video okay so let's say we, we, we open our Canva so of course it brings you to this page so then you click on the plus sign so it brings you here and you click on mobile videos. Remember this is where you select um, whatever you want to do, whether it's um, logo or flyer or poster. So this time around is mobile video because you want to create a video, if, um, if a video for something. So it brings you here and then you type in what you want. So I, I was about to type in um, skincare products. I just like typing, using that one as an example. And then I saw it. So I just feel we should just go ahead with the instead of typing it since I've seen the one I like. But if you don't, if you if if for instance this is general um videos, it's not a particular thing alone. So you can type which um category you're looking for. But right now, because I'm seeing what I want, I can just click it. So I'm choosing this first video, and it you know brings me here. So I was trying to um navigate this before and it was hanging so thank god um it has opened up properly now so um like i've i've, I've exemplified the, the the text that you can delete you can add and all that but uh, i want to play around with these drugs here so let's say for example you have your own products i like this background but i want my own product to be there you can import pictures here i will get to that and let's say for example i'm okay i'm satisfied with this um you know, maybe this vitamin C bottle and um, this small one here too. And I just want to beautify it more. I'm probably, I'm satisfied with the background. I've shown us how to change the background color and how to do things. But I just want to deal with this ones. So this particular one now, maybe I want it to be bigger. Then I'll have to drag it from the top of it to give it a bigger size. And this one, maybe I want this to be two instead of one. You see this plus sign? Because once you click on that object, once you click on it, it brings up options on top of it. You can see the delete option there, and that looks like a basket, and you can see the three dots beside it, and then a plus sign. So because I want this bottle to be two, I click on the plus sign, so I have two of it now. I've done that before with the birthday picture. So now there are two, but I want one to be smaller, and I want the other one to be bigger, so I bring down this one, and this one looks too big for my liking, so I bring it down like this. So now I have two of it, okay? Maybe I'll put it by side by side, just beside this one, okay? So they are now two, right? Okay, so 
if you want these pictures, remember it's an it's an um, it's a video we're doing. Now, if you want these images to be moving while the advert is playing, you can make it move. So you come to this the down part. You see all these options that I'm looking at. You click on animate. So when you click on animate, the direction you want it to go, how you want it to be going, like if you want it to stomp, they will drop like this, okay? If you want it to just be going, moving on its own, it will be moving. So you can equally charge the second button and still give it this movement, which is actually tectonic. So the both of them, you know, they will be moving. And... Um, Again, you can actually make it move by yourself by coming to this place and you click on create. So let me say after you click on create, then after you cl click on create, then you start to draw. Sorry, excuse me. So, so anywhere, you can see it's drawing a line. So, however I want it to be done. Let me delete again. So, let's do it. I want this, if I want this um, product to be going up. So, you draw a straight line with it up. So, what it's going to do is when the video starts, it will just be going up, up, up. So, that is how it is. Okay, that's manually. But you can actually use the animate and look for... Um, uprise and give it an uprise to rise by itself if i want this to be rotating i can also make it rotate so how do i make it rotate while going up i will come here sorry i'll come sorry i'll come here sorry not here i'll come to the animate okay this is already taken off the anime so and i'll choose Sorry, I'm coming. So here is it. Then I'll choose on rotate. You can see rotate there. This is rotate. So I want it to rotate. Okay. So let me, you touch the eye, the product <clears throat> that you want to give the rotation. And then when you, when you highlight it, you go for, Okay. You go for it, rotate. So it's going to be doing all as, as at the same time as it's rising, it's going to be rotating. So we can see how it's going. So if you want this to continue, like for it to continue, you can drag, you can drag it to any length. Like, okay, assuming I feel that, okay, this video is too short for me. So I just drag and extend it. So it takes longer time for it to, you know, ha um, stop. So. Okay. So if you want this. So if you want this, um, this product to move to the other direction, you can also do the same thing. You can also do the same thing. Come and also create it. And drag it to wherever you want it to be going. Okay? And we can do the same for this. Drag it to wherever we want it to go. So, done. So, let's see how it is. So, I'm just showing you how you can play around with your, your video advert. Okay? Okay? Um, you can play around with it and you can equally return it so that after going front it can go back so so you can come here and still do the same thing You can add the video again and let it go through the same thing again so you have the opportunity to 
make it come back into the video so this time around you can see it's still one so you, you duplicate it of course we made the other one smaller and we also reduce the size of this one so we have our bottle again i just want to show us what we can do so this time around i might choose I might choose that. Sorry, I'm coming. Apply to all pages. So Okay. So we we'll see how it goes. So okay so you you can still do whatever you want it like you can play around with it just the way you want let me just keep scrolling it okay so this, you know i had to recopy it again and this time around i didn't animate it but you, you have the options to do whatever you want to do with it so if you want it to overlap you can make it overlap but i don't really want to see it overlap except for maybe these bottles and this one okay these are the only ones i want to overlap sorry coming overlap yeah so so sorry okay so okay so we'll play our video so basically this how to animate animate um your sorry create your advert video so if you want to add a photo from this if you want to add your own personal photo, you go to the gallery. Probably you have your own product that you want to put there and you don't need this one. You can firstly go and delete the bottles there and put your own product. But I don't think I have any skincare product here. But I will use whatever I can lay my hands on just to be able to illustrate it. So let's assume I want to add this, although it's the wrongest thing to add so because this is a skincare product but this is important i just want to use that example so if you want to delete these things you can actually delete them and put your own product so so you've ended up using the, the template to do your own personal advert or what your customer because your customer might give you her own items say i want to see this appear on this so assuming this is a kitchen utensil advert you know, the, your customer will give you her pic photos for you to put into the pictures, into the video. So this is exactly how you do it. And then you think of what you want to do with the, the video. Sorry. Yeah. To make it more lively. So. So. So that is it. However you want it to appear, or whatever you want it to be doing, that's exactly what it's going to do. So that is how to animate your, I mean, create your, your advert videos. So that is it. You can see how it's bouncing. So you make your, I've taught you how to change the text and whatever, put the customer's you know, brand name and everything. So this is how to create a video. Okay, thank you. Okay, so welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove background for, to, uh, from a picture. I, for example, you want the picture to just be a single um, image. You don't want every other, any other image to appear on it. So you go to, you can either download this app or you go to this website, to their website. 
you click on Chrome and then you search BG Remover. Sorry, I made a mistake. BG, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm typing the wrong thing. BG Remove or Remover. So, okay, so now the first one you're seeing here is the app or the website. So you open it up, allow it to load, and then it's a free um, use. It's for free use. So you, up, you click on upload image and you locate the picture you want to just single out. Okay, let's say I want just to have just the image of this woman and nothing more. So I click on that picture. Okay, asking me to confirm that I'm not a human. So, sorry. Sometimes we might encounter this. The system just wants to verify that you are not um, a robot. So, you just respond to that. Let me quickly respond to that. Okay, so it's preparing my, my image. So, can you see now? Then you download the image. Now, for you to be to understand what I'm saying clearly. You know the first picture is, was actually a screenshot of um, and in the screenshot you could see some text in it but now it's plain. So let me show you how it's going to appear in your work now. So let's say I want to use it on this um, Canva page. So you come to this place. You open up your Canva. Excuse me. Sorry. So you go for So you go for sorry for that. You go to you go look for a fresh page. Just let me say I want to make use of this page. Okay. So if I want to include this the image of this woman here and not with the background or anything, just to come as a single image. So I click on this my plus sign and go to my gallery, check my images. And you can see her picture here. So you click on add to page. Can you see that it came as just a single web cropped out picture of just image of her? So that's how. And remember what we did in the other video. We did um, how and um, we, we, I showed you how you can, you know, call, um, um, how you can generate or make your image, you know, speak. So you can actually even use that app and make this woman to be talking, to be reading out or wherever you want her to say and place it in this video. So that is how to use, you can position the image anywhere you like. So let me show you the difference between what it was before and what it is now. Let's say I want to use, get the original Im Im picture. You can see this is how it was, but now we have only her own image. So this is how to to um, create this is how to remove background from your image. Thank you.